Wow, it was an active weather day for much of East Tennessee with scattered strong storms, some flooding. Now, uh, gradually those storms winding down as we head through the early portion of tonight, and then areas of fog will likely be developing at least some patchy dense fog possible early on your Thursday morning, especially for the areas and many areas impacted by some scattered storms earlier. Once that kind of moves on out, then we'll see a little bit of improvement with partly cloudy skies as we go through your Thursday morning, early afternoon. But here's the deal. More scattered storms can redevelop later Thursday afternoon and early evening and a few of those could once again be strong. Take a look at some storm pictures we have. This was a large tree down. This occurred again a Wednesday afternoon earlier in the day. John Ketching uh, uh, sent in uh, this picture to our Channel 10 newsroom down trees in Sequoia Hills. This was uh, just off uh, Kingston Pike near Laurel Church of Christ. And so yeah, Rutledge Rainbow. There's the rain shaft, a double rainbow. Linda Cole posted this on Facebook. One of the, uh, the beauties, the benefits sometimes after the storms move through the sun comes out and earlier in the day before the storms erupted, Melissa Russell, absolutely beautiful post on Facebook. Look at that. The Tennessee River, downtown Knoxville. Thank you, Melissa, and for all the others for those pictures. Uh, only a trace of rainfall at McGee Tyson Airport, officially for Knoxville. And here at Channel 10, we had uh, about three, two and three quarter inches of rain, over two and a half inches. And uh, wow, and a lot of that came in about an hour's time. It was really heavy. 93 the high today, 72 the low. So yet we got that heat and humidity going. We'll be back in the lower 90s for your Thursday with that chance for scattered thunderstorms redeveloping, especially again later in the afternoon, early evening. Then they should settle on down. Now, the rest of the week as we go Friday, Saturday and Sunday, isolated chances continue basically hot and humid. So again, the storms winding down, patchy fog overnight, fair and mild, lows near 70. And tomorrow for your Thursday, hot and humid, lower 90s, 92 for the high. Look for those scattered storms later in the afternoon and evening. And then hot and humid weather continues near 90 degrees Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And each day this weekend, it looks like just a 20% chance for isolated storms. Now early next week, a little bit of a delay in some of that tropical moisture, but it looks like it's going to be more likely Tuesday and Wednesday. We could see more of a higher impact from tropical moisture moving up from the Gulf. We're keeping on a tropical system that could be impacting parts of the West Central Gulf early this week, if not late this weekend. And then we'll have to see how that moisture translates up into our neck of the woods. We've got a 40 to 50% chance right now for a better chance for showers. Not quite as hot in the 80s next week. Again, do use caution on the roads until the waters recede. Have a great night and enjoy the rest of your week.